Well, now to a story which some think is the biggest scandal in Washington, D.C. right now. But they say the mainstream media doesn't want to know about it because it incriminates Democrats, not President Trump and Russia. It concerns this man, Imran Awan, a 37-year-old Pakistani-American IT staffer who started working for the US House of Representatives in 2004. Awan, his wife Hina, two brothers and a friend all set up shop installing computers and phones, fixing printers and resetting passwords. Awan worked for more than a dozen Capitol Hill Democrats, including Congresswoman Debbie Wasserman Schultz. You remember until last July, she was chair of the Democratic National Committee. She resigned at the start of the convention that nominated Hillary Clinton for president after WikiLeaks published emails showing the DNC supported Clinton in her primary against Bernie Sanders. That link is important, and we'll get back to it in just a moment, but earlier this year, a criminal complaint alleged that Awan and his wife conspired to defraud the Congressional Credit Union of $165,000, which was a part of $283,000 they wired back to Pakistan. Capitol Hill Police also looked into accusations that IT equipment and money had gone missing, and they referred their suspicions to the FBI. Wasserman Schultz resisted sacking Awan. She said that he was entitled to due process and that she was concerned that Awan was the target of an anti-Muslim witch hunt. She was also unhappy that some of her computers were impounded. Developments in this case. Then, in July this year, Awan was arrested. Awan was arraigned on one count of bank fraud charges in U.S. District Court here in Washington today. Following his arrest last night at Dulles International Airport prior to boarding an overseas flight. But why was the arrest of some IT guy even news? Well, Fox's Geraldo Rivera has a theory. What if he was the source to WikiLeaks? And Geraldo's theory goes further. But the whole of the Russiagate story now hinges on this now investigation. The guy's now charged. Bingo. His passport has been seized. His family's already fled. He's got right. an ankle monitor on. What if this investigation really shows who Geraldo. was the source of I've been talking about right. this all day. Yes, he was. And so were Tucker Carlson and Mark Stein. Everything they've looked for and failed to find in the Russia investigation uh, is in fact going on under their noses in this particular story. Despite US intelligence agencies all agreeing Russia hacked the DNC and fed it to WikiLeaks, what if it was this Pakistani IT guy? They would sure get Russia off the hook. So what do they make of the story over on the Kremlin's RT? Awan was also mentioned in one of the DNC cables leaked by the WikiLeaks which, as you can imagine, has already generated a flurry of theories about Awan potentially being the leaker of those emails. But does Russia today really think there is anything to these theories? This is a huge story. OK, and over on Infowars, former Trump advisor Roger Stone thinks that Wasserman Schultz is a part of the conspiracy. This uh, seems to me to be, uh, you know, a crime. This is... This is part of a, an ongoing conspiracy, and now she's a co-conspirator. Um, this is a cover-up of extraordinary magnitude. And the internet is buzzing with claims Awan might have been conspiring with DNC staffer Seth Rich, who was shot and killed last year in what police said was a robbery gone wrong. But some say, no, no, it was a hit. And now others think that Awan was the killer. There that is him, the one who fled the country uh, there, but he is there with Seth Rich. And you can see at the very bottom of the photo, uh, it says that Awan murdered Seth Rich. So, is there anything to it? Well, so far, Imran Awan has only been charged with bank fraud, fiddling on a home loan application. Some suspect his company was also involved in computer theft and double billing, but he hasn't been charged with anything related to that. And there are certainly no charges relating to espionage, leaking DNC emails or murder. A federal grand jury recently added charges relating to the transfer of money, but nothing else. Hannity, Geraldo, Russia Today, Roger Stone and that internet lady are speculating wildly about Imran Awan, whose lawyer complains he was only indicted for working while Muslim.